Just a half hour north of Charlotte, Catawba is the sixth oldest college in North Carolina. The private small liberal arts campus was founded in 1851. It's also home to the Center for the Environment and its very own ecological preserve. This is a 189-acre ecological preserve. Uh, Catawba College is one of the first colleges in the state of North Carolina, and maybe one of the first in the nation, to put its campus property under a permanent conservation easement. The Catawba Center for the Environment believes in practicing what it teaches. This preserve contains diverse wetland habitats and is home to more than 150 species of birds. Now you can see where these little shallow areas are really good for waterfowl feeding. The preserve provides students with the opportunity for field research and a chance to put their classroom experience into practice. Yeah, one thing you do when you come up to a box is you knock and see if anybody's home. The only thing that can nest in these boxes here is the chickadees. These guys, um, now their eyes aren't open yet. Catawba's strong commitment the to the environment is what attracts back. many students to the college. What is the cause of the smog that's creating these problems? The Center for the Environment was established in 1996. It offers degrees in environmental science, environmental education, and sustainable business and community development. And it's like a safe haven, haven where people can come in and just drop all the agendas at the door and just focus on one thing that they love and that's the environment. And like I said, it helps you find that connection between whatever you love and the environment. I want to be a teacher, so I cannot wait to help impact other students' lives and help them, you know, we're going to go outside. We're going to see the beauty that's, that's outside and, and focus on how to, you know, what's there and how to keep it there, why it's important for us. I feel like right now the way we are interacting with our environment isn't, um, it's not really working out. You know, we, we aren't in harmony with our environment. The main thing that changes the world is people's consumptive patterns. And uh, eventually I want to run my own business, an environmentally friendly business, and build environmentally friendly communities. And to do that I have to know about both business and environment. Environmental friendliness is exactly what the Center for the Environment tried to achieve in planning its new facility. Built in 2000, the 21,000 square foot building is a testament to Catawba's commitment to the conservation of natural resources. We have a geo-exchange system. We've got 40 wells 260 feet deep right out here in this parking lot that go down into granite. We circulate water in a closed system so that we use the Earth's moderating temperature for both heating and cooling in this building. Solar panels on the roof provide 10 percent of the energy used in the building. Outside fountains are powered 100 percent by solar energy. And the small truck used for transportation in the preserve is also powered by photovoltaic cells. I think people are beginning to think, you know, uh, what are we going to leave our grandkids and their kids? And I think when people began thinking long term and looking at the earth today uh, and the effects that we have on that earth that it's becoming more and more apparent that we've got to shift in the way we do things. Maybe my father's age we were in a big booming industry we're wanting to make, make the most with the least amount of money and now it seems that especially young mothers uh, a little bit older than I am and my age are really wanting to make the right decisions to go greener, to have more healthier options and just buy more local, you know, things like that. It's a lot of more thought into that now. I feel like there's lots of things that we could make small changes and it's not really going to affect the way we live our lives but will put us in harmony with the environment. I think the legacy for the Center for the Environment will be the product of the center, which is Based on what I know about other the birds. students that have gotten engaged in it and want to continue that process into the future uh, of working and learning how we can work within community collaboratively uh, to, to make change and change that uh, we all want to see.